What's up you guys, Martin here and welcome back to my channel. So today is the next day. Today is the day after Rango's great escape. And that guy is in his cage. I checked this morning as soon as I woke up. I'm like, ooh, he better be in there. And he was. So today it's going to be a pretty chill day again. I... I'm going to be trying out the Bella Twins wine with you guys. I'm going to pop it open. We're going to go like this. Smell it. Taste it. Drink it. And then I'm also going to be making a big ham. Okay. Knowledge toy. I'm also going to be making a big ham. Um, I figured it would be a smart thing to do with everything going on. When, to be fair, when I went to the grocery store, there really wasn't anything to buy for food. So I had to buy a ham, and I mean, it was like $28 for that ham. And I was like, dang, but there's no meats. There was no hamburger. There was nothing like that. So I was like, you know what? I could buy this. I can make multiple days worth of food with it. So I'm going to be popping that in the oven today. We're going to taste test that. And I did get my new sunglasses in today. You guys remember I said when I got my new frames, I also bought a pair of prescripted sunglasses. That's what I'm doing. So... We're going to be unboxing, we're going to be taste testing, we're going to be enjoying today. It's a really beautiful day out, as you can see, and it was raining over here. We need that rain, okay? Wash away all that nasty, and, and, and feed the plants. But yeah, so, let's start today. Alright, we got this big ham, it's a spiral ham, and we're going to make this right now. So, let's get this ready. All right, here is that big boy ham. Um, this is the only pan I have, so hopefully the juices won't overflow. And I'm preheating the oven to 325 right now, and this is asking for uh, heating 10 to 12 minutes per pound at 325. And this is 11 pounder, so it'll be done in a minute, in a good minute. Um, but yeah, so I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat, put this bad boy in, and then guess what we're going to do? Unbox my glasses. Let's do it. All right. The uh, ham is in. I don't have foil, so I'm just... It, uh, it calls for foil. It says tighten the top of it with foil. I don't got foil. Okay? I don't got anything in this house. Okay? Let's go open the new glasses. <laughs> All right, so I finally got my box of my sunglasses. Uh, these came in, and I told them if I can just go pick them up. They said, sure, you can pick them up, because they were going to ship both this pair and this pair together. But since this one came in early, I was like, yeah. So we're going to open this pair up. This is the sunglasses. I've never had prescriptive sunglasses before, and I'm really excited. There's times where I want to wear... I used to wear sunglasses all the time, okay? And I just stopped because what's the point? I wear sunglasses in the summertime and I can't see anything. So I just don't even bother. So I'm going to do this. I did not want to get the tinted glasses. I'm not a fan of them. I don't like how they look. So we are going to see how this looks. Ugh. I just randomly checked the mail today. I'm like, I wonder if they're going to be there. They said they were going to ship them last Wednesday. So I just really didn't know like when they were going to be shipped. What is this? I don't know what that is. And here it is. And these are Oakley's. They are Oakley pear. So. Whoa, these are... Ooh, Lord. Wow, they really um, protected them. I don't know what those are, though. Okay. So here's the sides of them. Kind of hard to see. There you go. Here they are. These are the Oakley sunglasses. Now, I'm going to see... Ooh. Really excited. Moment of truth. 
Oh my god, I could see everything. Yeah, what do you guys think? I've always been a fan of big sunglasses, like big shades. So this is awesome to have. I'm really stoked about it. Um, ooh. Ooh. This is awesome. I don't know what these are for though. Like extra pair of frame. I'm gonna leave these in here, but it is a frame. So maybe if these pop out, then I could put these in. I don't know if they're spare. I'm gonna call them and ask uh, just because. Maybe we should call them right now. Let's see. Let's call them. <laughs> Maybe they're not open because of like the quarantine. Thank you for calling that tree optometry. Due to the shelter in place protocol, our office will be closed until further notice. We will be open Friday, March 20th from 9 to 12, Monday, March 23rd from 9 to 12, and Monday, March 30th, 9 to 12 for pickups only. Well, <laughs> they're not open either. But yeah, so these are them. I freaking love them. I can see everything. It looks great. I love this Oakley. I'm not a big fan of Oakleys in general. Like the, they're like snowboarding glasses. I I hate them. I honestly do. But when I seen these in the in the, in the um, what do you call it? The the store. In the eye store, eye doctor's office. I had to get them, so I can see perfectly fine. Ooh, dang. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is great. Awesome. So these are the Oakley sunglasses. I hope you guys enjoy these. I hope you like them. Um, I think I look pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, what's up? You over there, what's up? Oh, all right, so right now I'm gonna be making the, I'm making Xena a salad. I made uh, Elvira one earlier. Um, Xena was sleeping, so I didn't wanna wake her up, but she's awake. I, when I buy the romaine, I pre-wash it and then put it back in the bag. Uh, just because it's how I do. <laughs> but I'm making her a basic salad uh, just for right now. So this is what I do every day for them. I always make their salads. They do get super worms. They do get fruit at times. So I make, you have to change it up. They get bored really quick uh, with different, with the same food. You just wanna cut, chop it, not to extremely small pieces, but just bite sized for them. Zena's doing good. Just a reminder, Zena is the rescue I found in my apartment complex. My manager told me about her and she thought it was Elvira. It wasn't, so. And there's a salad right here. The base. Okay. And then we're gonna get some shredded carrots. Not too much. Just enough. She likes carrots, it's a little sweet. It's a little sweetness to it. And then she's gonna get her calcium, her ripped calcium with vitamin D. It's right here, we're gonna just sprinkle that on like a garnish, kind of like a Parmesan cheese. Okay, just a little garnish garn. And there's her salad. Let's go give it to her. Yum, she loves her sal sal. She really loves salads. Elvira never really cared for salad, but she loves it. Huh, baby? Huh, my love? You hungry? You ready for your salad? You ready, baby? Come on. Come on. Your salad's ready. Okay, I figured um, I'd be recording this part the same spot because I'm having like the natural lighting from the window right here. So if you hear the trees rustling in the wind, it's so relaxing. So, I'm going to be testing out the Bella Twins wine. Okay, I'm a huge fan of the Bella Twins. I love WWE, I love female wrestling, and I love the Bella Twins. Nikki and Brie created a wine. They go, like they have a show called Total Divas and Total Bellas. They have been to Napa multiple hundreds of times on that show. I'm not too far from Napa, California. I'm pretty close actually. And this wine is produced in Napa. 
So, um, it's freaking pretty. It's just like the Bellas. There's Nikki and Brie. This kind of looks more like Nikki right here. So I don't know if that's anything. Um, but yeah, so let me read the back of the bottle. It's a 2000. So this is Bella Radici. A 2017 Napa Valley Cabernet, I can never say that, Savion, Savion. In Italian, Bella Radici means beautiful roots, and the roots of this diverse team of wine professionals run deep. Nikki and Brie Bella's agriculture youth, Ryan Hill's family history in farming, Tim Martin and Mark Wagard's roots in design and creativity. As a group of this team crafted Bella Radici, a wine created to celebrate our collective love of the earth. Produced and bottled by Hill Family Estate, Napa, California, BellaRadici.com. So, here it is. It's a 2017, and let me see if I could find uh, the notes. Okay, so here I found some in like details, the overview of this. A wonderfully concentrated Cabernet crafted by Nikki, Brie, Nikki and Brie Bella. This full-bodied Cabernet packs tons of blackberry, vanilla, and sage flavors. Pairs well with steak, grilled lamb, or aged cheeses. That's pretty exciting. I'm really excited. They gave this almost five stars. It's a red wine, Cabernet Sauvignon, concentrated, full-bodied. And you can pick this up at Total Wine for $39.99. Or $39 it's about $40 for this. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna be using a champagne glass because that's all I got. I don't got no wine glasses because I ain't that classy, okay. Um, but let's open it up. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. This is the Brie Bellas. <gasps> Bella Radici. I got a little thingy in my bobs. Okay, just put that right in the little hole. And then you just turn this. Wow, that's going in really easy. <sighs> I'm really excited about this. Blueberry, like, what does it say? Blackberries, what? What did it say? It said, tons of blackberry, vanilla, and sage flavors. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna pop that. Here we go. All right, it is open. Um, it's time to smell it. <sighs> that smells like wine. I'm not a big wine person, so, you know, it's a little strong. <laughs> All right, let's pour the Bella Twins Bello Radici. Ooh, that beautiful red. That is like, that is straight up red. Okay, so now what you, okay. <laughs> this is what the Bella Twins drink, okay? And they love wine, especially Nikki. So she wouldn't just make a wine. Like she must have to really like it because they would not just put their name on something. And this is 2017, okay? All right, let's take that first sip. That's good. I mean, I wanted to try their, what are the, they have three right now. They have a, this, this one, the Cabernet Sauvignon. They have a uh, Bella Radici Red, and that's all they have right now. So it's good, it's good. I mean, if you, um, wine's not for everybody, but this is really nice. I like it, I like it a lot actually. Um, Bella Twins, you did it, okay? Would I, would I recommend Bella Radici? Uh, yes, I would. It's a great, great bottle. It's very big. Um, I still have a whole bunch of it in there. It's good, so I really like this. Thank you, Bella Twins. Thank you, Nikki and Brie Bella. You guys getting out there. You guys are doing your thing. 
You know, I love them. They're not wrestling anymore. Uh, they are going to the Hall of Fame this year. Sorry if you hear all that noise. I'm in the window. But Hall of Fame, they have been champions. They are just great people in general. And they're, they have a clothing line. Now they have a wine line. Yes, they're always drinking wine, so why not? Nice. So, um, what is left to do? We're going to be tasting that ham when it's done. Because I'm hungry. Alright, and um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys after the ham is done. Also, just before I go, I just realized I was taking the cork out. It's exactly the picture of the wine. There are the Bellas right there. That's cool. Little details. It's all about details. Alright, bye. <laughs> And the ham is done. Look at that. Look at that glistening. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Too sweet. I found this shirt yesterday when I was looking for Rango. NWO Wolf Pack. Too sweet. Um, speaking of sweet, let's try this hickory ham. Let's grab a piece from right here. Oh, it's hot. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hickory spiral ham. This is its taste. Oh, shit! Mmm! So good. Mmm. 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 That ham is so good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Wash your hands. Don't forget to wash your hands. Martin, can you edit this? Be sure to wipe to wash your hands, please. Because we don't need the in this house. Duh. All right, that was good. So that's it today. That's it for today, you guys. That's it, okay? We prepped the ham, we put it in the oven today. We taste tested the Bella Twins, Bella Radici wine. We unboxed my new prescriptive sunglasses from Oakley. We tasted the ham. You've seen Mona in her surviving the apocalypse uh, little clip. Good day, and I'm just finishing up another load of laundry, and then I work tomorrow. Please pray for me. Make sure no one's near me. Also, since everything's been going on with the you know what, uh, Wendy and Joe from JW Reptile Rescue, they basically survive on uh, shows, birthday parties, um, adoptions, everything. But with everything going on, they can't do any of that because of the lockdowns and stuff like that. So. Just a little reminder, they do have their merch store up. There's some stuff I'm ordering. I love their new Oddity merch. Oh my gosh. You guys, can, I'm not even kidding. And I'm not just saying this because they're my friends. But they look so dope. Go check it out. The, the Oddity merch looks awesome. Everything in the store right now is 10% off. If you use a promo code JNWLOVE, all caps. Everything in the store is 10% off and i'm not kidding you when you go look at their merch you're gonna be like oh my god i need that so go ahead show some love that's another way for them to earn money for the rescue to help feed the reptiles to help get the stuff that they need for the reptiles light bulbs uh bedding uh mice everything that you could uh, possibly think of you know what i mean so go ahead i'm gonna leave a link in the description below go check it out at least um if you guys can buy something that'd be awesome you don't have to if you guys can't afford it if you guys want, share with your friends. Share the merch store over there. Um, just a reminder, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Just a reminder, j and Reptile Rescue is almost at 500. Once they reach 500 subscribers, they're doing a giveaway. Giveaways everywhere. Their merch store is open. Go check it out. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, favorite. Share with your friends and family for more content. And until next time, you guys, don't be a lemon. Be a rosebud. Peace.